sometimes you just kind of have a um, bad feeling in your stomach that something's wrong, but you aren't sure exactly what it is. You just, you know, you can decide, I'll, I'll set this one out, maybe I won't say anything this time. And that can just build up and build up. You know, it's, it's, it's not easy, but I, I'm happy to say that I've had those situations and I've had those opportunities to do the right thing. Giving Voice to Values, or GVV, is a new and innovative way of thinking about, teaching about, and acting on our values in our careers and in our wider lives. Rather than focusing on trying to figure out what the right thing to do is in any particular situation, an important question, to be sure, Giving Voice to Values asks a different question. It asks, once I know what I think is right, how do I get it done? What should I say and to whom? What information do I need to gather to be persuasive? How can I frame my position so as to appeal to my audience? And what are the typical objections or the pushback I can anticipate? And then what will I say to respond to those arguments? So I'm from Chicago and I ended up in DC and now I'm in Texas where uh, my views on the environment and energy are a little bit uncommon. And so when I find myself in a conversation surrounded by a fair amount of conservatives, uh, it's, it's difficult to sort of stand up and, and really voice my values. Um, I don't like confrontation. I am, I can say things how they are, but I don't like to be mean about it or confrontational at all. And I'm more of an introvert, so I don't, necessarily like to talk up in meetings and say, that's wrong. One of our biggest problems, you know, with dealing with other people is communication. It's really tough to tell somebody, nobody wants to know that they're wrong. It's really tough to tell somebody that you think what they're doing is wrong or why you feel like you're right. So it's important to understand what the different um, perspectives are so that you can have conversations and either come to an alignment or at least make people aware of the ethics that you're operating under and come to some sort of understanding if you are at a disagreement. The idea behind giving voice to values is that if we simply encounter a values conflict and someone asks us, what would you do? We usually respond in one of two ways. We may say, oh, I would do the right thing. However, we know from research that people often don't act as they say they would when it comes to ethical challenges in their real lives. It's just not that easy. On the other hand, we may assume a sort of devil's advocate position, the more skeptical or even cynical position, arguing that the decision at hand may indeed raise an ethical challenge, but it's just not possible to do anything other than to go along with the pressures. Or we may even argue the situation isn't really wrong at all. I think it's very noble for you to think that you're always gonna make the right decision, but I think a lot of times when you are making big moves, big decisions, it's important to step back and really look at why you're making those choices, what's driving those choices, and how that's gonna affect the rest of the people that are involved. With GVV, we first ask, what if you wanted to do the right thing <laughs> in a particular situation, and you believed you knew what it was? How would you get it done effectively? We call this the Giving Voice to Values Thought Experiment, and it provides the chance to literally pre-script ourselves and to create the most effective action plan we can conceive of, and then to actually rehearse that script and plan. So I think scripting in advance helps you really identify exactly what you want to say. Sometimes if you aren't sure how you're going to vocalize it when you actually get into the situation and they say something that you weren't expecting or it's more difficult um, to get out your message. It's, it's helpful to have rehearsed it a little bit and understand what your core message is so that no matter how the conversation goes, you know what you want to get across and you can kind of tailor your approach based on what happens in the conversation. But knowing what you want to say is really important before you go in if it's a difficult message. This approach is based on the idea, supported by research, that practice or rehearsal 
allows us to create a kind of default behavior, a sort of moral muscle memory that makes it easier and more likely that we can act ethically and in alignment with our values when needed. Talking about ethics and you know, communicating what our values are to each other opens our eyes to you know, different ways of looking at the exact same situation. I think if you talk about it, then you'll more likely act upon it. Know what we stand for, either as an individual or as a society. And then in case society doesn't meet your individual values, know how to approach it or how to adapt to it or how to, you know, challenge that situation. There are ways to live ethically and to do the right thing, and those lead to a better society and a better way of doing business and more mutual respect between people, which is important to talk about on, not only on campus but across all society and something that we can all benefit from. And as long as people see that there are people who are committed to living ethically and behaving ethically and, and, and maintaining a certain standard, um, then people realize that it is a good thing to be ethical, that it is a good thing to have those core values and not compromise on them. There are seven pillars or principles of GVV that support this process. Let's take a look at them. 